Just read it. Just read it. All of it. You don't get to read it all? Pause it. I'm not, I'm not in the mood. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just pause this. Read all of that. Yep. So, I'm probably gonna get new recording software, or... I don't know. My whole computer's been so scurvy lately, I don't know. Don't know when that happened, because I have antivirus stuff on here, so I don't know what happened. Somehow I may have got one, I have no idea, but if it keeps up, I'm probably just going to hit the factory reset button and see what happens. Maybe that fixes it. I do most feels on my phone anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, it's probably enough time. And if you couldn't hear what I'm saying, deal with it. I'm not in the mood. There's the top part again, because you can see the top line, and now you can't see the bottom line. <laughs> but there you go, there's all of it, so pause here too, I guess. So unlike my review for A Quiet Place, this has notes. This has a general outline I am going to follow, and while I get to it, I want to point something out. I hated the second season four. I recorded a video I never uploaded talking about how bad it was. The storm part was good, but other than that, psycho murder lady who no one can apparently shoot when you're at point blank range, stupid. Some people you can't help. That was literally season four of The Walking Dead, too far gone. You can't help some people, so stop trying, all right? Fear the walk. I know I reviewed the first half and the second half because I hated it. It was like left the same taste in my mouth that season two did, where I almost gave the show up. It's got to redeem itself again. Season three redeemed it for me, so I don't like it. And now we have news that Troll is going to be alive again. Why? I don't know. So, I'm just going to start. This isn't Fear of the Walking Dead. This is good old Walking Dead. Best season The Walking Dead has ever done. Yeah, I loved it. Better than season eight. Better than season seven. It's been great. It's been great. Four was my favorite. Season four was my favorite. Not anymore. Not anymore. It's it's my second favorite. This season is a shining... Shining? This is the crown point. This is the gold stash. I don't know. Something awesome for The Walking Dead. This is the best season by far. Alright. And other than episodes one and seven, so the premiere and seven... Every episode's been great. I've loved every episode. One, I felt like they crammed too much into one episode. I feel like they were trying too hard to make up for seven and eight. Episode seven and season seven and eight, excuse me. And seven, compared to the other ones, it, it was a filler episode. And I don't like filler episodes. We had enough of them. We've had more than enough of them. So, obviously, if you've not seen it, what happened to Rick? I loved what they did with it. He's not dead. He's alive and well. Who knows where, I don't know if that captured that, Bandicam froze. I'll say it again. If you don't know what happened to Rick, he is alive and well. He's who knows where, flying away with Jadis into the sunset. That's that's what happened. Pretty much, he, got, he was on the verge of death. He was away from everybody else. Jadis found him. The helicopter people who she's connected to took him away. Commonwealth, Georgie's group, someone else, we don't know. We're going to get the answers in the Rick Grimes movies. Bandicam, I swear, if you keep freezing. Again, we'll get the answers in the Rick Grimes movies. I don't know how much it keeps cutting out. I really hope it... Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, seeing Shane and Herschel again. Oh, it was so sweet. When I saw Shane, I was like, oh, heck yes. When I saw Herschel, I was like, oh, Herschel. And because Scott Wilson sadly passed away. You know, it was. I heard he got to see that before he died, and so that's just great. And the way they introduced old Judith, older Judith, to show a six-year time jump had happened was very well done. That was great. Just all of a sudden, she's here. She saved Magna. There you go. So, obviously, the Whispers, the thing I've been so excited for for years now, they have come to The Walking Dead. They came in with a bang and a murder. Quite, pretty much, if you don't know who died, spoiler warning, I, I don't, 
it was Jesus. Pretty much, this is how you do the whispers. This is how you make them scary. You got the fog. You're in a graveyard. There's dense fog everywhere. You're hearing sounds. There's walkers around. And then you swing at one with a sword. It ducks. It jumps behind you and stabs you in the back. Yes. I was like, yeah. I mean, uh, well, obviously I was sad that he died. But I was like, yes, the whispers. Because... And then there was the scene in the field where it just slowly turned its head to half look at the camera. Walkers don't do that. And in episode 6, I recorded my reaction when they first showed up. Again, I never released it. But, yeah, when the Where Are They was first heard, I was like, yes! So, yeah, it was a terrifying scene in the graveyard. All of a sudden, they're everywhere. They're coming out with knives. Graveyard. Scary. I really hope Bandicam is just in case Bandicam cut that out because it keeps like glitching. It didn't five minutes ago. The whole graveyard scene was terrifying. That's how you do scary stuff. Daryl has actually been doing stuff this season, which has been great. He actually speaks. He's not the silent Daryl anymore, which is good. I thought the whole I see Maggie's side of the argument on keeping Negan alive or dead. I, I agree with her. He should die, but Negan's like my favorite, one of my favorite characters. So let 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 Negan live. I just love the way he just chilled, just threw the tennis ball and walked right out of his cell. That was good, great. Oh, I wish I had my season seven DVD. I could hold it up and be like, "Yeah, Negan, my boy." The story and the writing have been a lot better this season, obviously. And this is my favorite time period in the comics, right about where we're at right now. And I have a feeling I know where this season's going to end. The infamous 144 Massacre. You don't know what that is. Get a get a tissue box ready because it's bad. It's worse than Negan doing this to Glenn. Not even it's worse. Can't get over. Okay, sorry about that. Bandicam completely froze up on me. So I still can't get over the difference a, a new showrunner can do. It's It's phenomenal. And I really feel like Angela King has saved The Walking Dead. Like, if we had another season, like season 7 and 8, whew, I don't know if I could have done it. I mean, I thought at the start of season 8, I could handle another season of The Saviors by... Uh, bandy cam. I will. I will. I don't know. I'll do something. I w by the halfway point through the second half of the season, I'm like, just end this already! It's too much! At least the season 8 finale was good, except for the second half of the episode. That was kind of pointless. I get why it was there, but I wish we had more of a big final battle. You know, it was too short. It was two minutes. So, I may discuss some of the teasers for the second half of the season, but I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited. Shout out to Movie Idol. Um, yeah, go subscribe to Movie Idol. He is the best. So, his content's great. I'm, yeah. So, I, 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 bleh, I do like how the teaser showed Alpha and Beta. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not digging Beta's design yet. Maybe that'll change, but I'm just not, I, I don't feel like it's as good as his comic design. Everyone has opinion, alright? Everyone has their own opinions. So the second half of the season, though, has a lot to go for. There's so much potential we got here. And I feel like this season will go down as the best in The Walking Dead. And if I had to guess, next season we're going to have the Whisper War. Probably in the second half. Or maybe even in the first half. Who knows? I have no idea. Oh, I didn't look at... I, um, I'm like... Okay, screw it. Look at my mouse. I was trying to point to... There's two helicopters. Hmm. But we only saw one. Questions, questions. I get it, though. This is just a poster. So, has The Walking Dead... It, will it survive without Rick Grimes? I think so. I think it will. And he'll probably come back. Alright, I don't know how much of that recorded for you guys. Again, it froze. So, the question I think cut off at was, will The Walking Dead survive without Rick Grimes? I think so, yes. And I think so, he'll be back. So I don't have to keep finding fighting Bandicam. I'm going to end this review here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm not reviewing the second half of the season 4 of The Walking Dead. I probably won't even upload the video. That video I did. I was wearing my Back to the Future color-changing hat, though, from... In that video, though, so that was pretty cool. I've never worn that in a YouTube video, but maybe I will someday. Uh, yeah, I 
don't really know what else to say. Do, do I hate seven, season 7 and 8? No. They're not terrible, but at the same time, this season's been great. It's been refreshing, and I'm very excited for the future of the series. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next And I'm sorry how much I repeated myself, but I may not have had to because Bandicam is just being stupid right now. And I'm sorry if stuff cut. It's not my fault. It's Bandicam's. It doesn't want to work with me, ever. You can probably notice that sometimes in my videos recently. It, like, jumps some stuff or makes my audio get out of sync with my face cam. So I'm trying to fix it. I may even just get new recording software. So we'll see. All right. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next video, probably in 2019.